is question set zero two, question set two, question B. Uh, suppose that the standard deviation of returns to forward is 18%. Ignore your answer from the prior question. Estimate the standard deviation <clears throat> of returns to a portfolio that's invested 60% in Apple and 40% in Ford. Okay, let's drop down. Apple, Ford. Now, I don't know if you guys remember this, um, but we did like the, the matrices. I am going to go ahead and set this up. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is a weight matrix. And the weight matrix is oops. The reason that we are going to do this, let me just actually let me just make it and then we will talk about it. Okay. So the standard deviation for Apple, let's do Apple, S-T-D-E-V for Apple is, Ford is 18 and Apple is 29.29.18 Ford and the correlation is 0.35. I know because I've done this problem a bunch of times. Okay, so here's the weight matrix, and now we need to do the, uh, the variance, covariance matrix. And what we want to do here is put the variance of Apple in this corner, the variance of Ford in this corner, and then the covariance in the other corner. So if this is the standard deviation, let's move the correlation down. That's the standard deviation. That means that the variance is going to be this squared. The variance of Apple, the variance of Ford, and then the covariance is going to be the correlation times the standard deviation of both of these. This is a formula that you have in your slides and can easily work out. All right, the last step is the portfolio variance matrix. And to get that, we're just gonna multiply, oops, I'm sorry, not. We're gonna sum these, and then we are going to take the square root. So this is the portfolio variance, and this is the portfolio standard deviation. In fact, let's just move these over. So this is the answer. You can put this in percent terms if you want. The standard deviation, it says estimate the standard deviation of returns that's invested 60% in Apple and 40% in Ford. The answer here would be 21%. So let me just give you some intuition as to what we're doing. We want to measure the variance of the portfolio. We have information about the variance of these stocks. And we want to make sure that we give it the right weight. And not only do they have variance, but they vary relative to each other, which is what this correlation and covariance measure. So we want to make sure that we capture how much of Apple variance impacts the final portfolio variance and how much of Ford impacts the final portfolio variance and then we want to measure how they impact each other and it's not enough to just say Apple impacts Ford you also have to say Ford impacts Apple and so what we have is the weight of Apple in terms of variance times the actual variance plus the weight of Ford times the variance of Ford plus the weight of the relationship between Apple and Ford both from Apple to Ford and Ford to Apple, which means that there's two of them, times the covariance in each of those situations. It just so happens they're symmetric, and so we just you know, do it twice. When we multiply those together, the weight times the variance or covariance, we get this matrix, and then when we add them up, we get the total portfolio variance, and when, then we take the square root, and we get the standard deviation of 21%. Hope that helps.